Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to try flock chicken chips. And we'll find out if there's something to cluck about right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so I love pork rinds. Me too. Cracklin's my game. And uh, I was super excited when this company started like appearing in my Facebook feed. Yeah, flock. And uh, I was really excited. I reached out to them several months ago and I was like, I really want to review these because like I love pork rinds, but basically what this is is chicken chips or chicken pork rinds. I was like, oh yes, please. And we have made our own but it's not easy. It ain't easy, and you gotta find the chicken skin if you're not buying a lot of chicken, which we don't. Well, when I reached out to the company, they're like, we are sold out, we're back ordered, but as soon as they come in, we're gonna send you some, and they did. And there's not just one flavor. So there is a little bit of copy on the back. So on the back, it says, flock. Chicken skins plus culinary seasons equals flock of goodness. Flock of seagulls <laughs> is a band. It says, we love rotisserie chickens and we're pretty sure you do too. Sorry for the vegans. However, enjoying one of our favorite foods mess-free and on the go is much tougher than it should be and we're here to change that. Introducing flock chicken chips, super tasty, crispy chips made from real chicken that are low in carbs, have zero sugar, are packed with protein, it's the ultimate answer to your healthy keto snacking needs. Our premium and flavorful chips pack a delicious crunch that serve as a great, healthy, on-the-go snack that can be eaten right from the bag as a salad topping or even as an addition to a charcuterie plate. All right. Okay, so we have three flavors. Original. Original. This one is salt and vinegar. <gasps> Ooh, Rachel's jam. That's and my favorite. And what is that one? This one is barbecue. Okay, we're going to try all three flavors, then we'll do the five things review. Where are we starting? Gotta start with original. Start with the original. No scissors. That thing scares me. Okay. I missed. I missed. Oh wait, I might be able to get this. All right. Okay, I got it. Good job. Ooh. Does it smell like chicken in there? It smells a little gamey. Ooh, It smells yes. a little gamey. There's definitely chicken in there. Okay. Smells like, you know, pork rinds smell yes. gamey. Pork rinds smell very gamey. Okay. So, cover faces. So, that's what they look like. They look like fried chicken skin. Yeah, because now they're not like a chip. No. Nope. So, I was they're... expecting them to have shaped these guys like no, tortilla this, chips. This is just like a pork rind, except for they're like real pork rinds, not the pork rinds that are all puffed up. This yeah. is chicken skin. Oh, yeah. That's chicken skin. That is chicken skin. That is pure chicken skin. Wow. Now that... Got a little kick to it. They I find seasoned it, it? I find it needs more seasoning. I feel like That's I'm, the original flavor. I'm tasting a little bit in the back of my tongue. A little bit. Yeah. I, I don't want to look at the ingredients. Okay. Okay. We're going to go barbecue next? Barbecue. Yeah, because I definitely want to finish with salt and vinegar. I love salt and vinegar. Still smells gamey. Yes, it does. Ooh. Wow. Not, is that a feather? <laughs> is that a feather okay, on there? Okay, where, where'd it go? There we go. Oh my okay. lord. I'm gonna put this on the table. These are fresh. I don't know if you guys can see this. If it'll focus. I'm not shooting in 4K today, but I see feathers. There's actually feathers on there. Do you see the feathers? I saw, I saw it coming out this of that. This one's got feathers too. Eat we'll, the feathers, baby. We'll have to eat the feathers. Nose to tail. Rooter to tutor. Mmm. That's got a good flavor. That had a nice little fatty 
Mind Nugget. him. Wow. Ooh, look at that piece of fat right there. You know I want this one, right? Go ahead. God bless you. Mmm. Wow. If you're like me and you like a cracklin, it's that kind of taste. Yeah. One more. Oh, one. Oh. There's not a huge amount of barbecue on this. It's, it's a little bit. I'm really hoping they douse this one. I wanted to give you an idea. We're gonna pour it out on a paper towel in a minute, but this is how much is in a bag. And they they look like lunch bags, right? Well, what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna we have we're gonna do the big pieces. So they're all different size pieces. That would be mine. But a lot, most of them are broken up into like this. So although it's not like a full bag, because they're all broken into little pieces. It'll probably take you a while to eat this yeah. because you can one piece at a time. Unless you just like the way I was in, just dump the whole bag in my dump mouth. Dump the whole bag. You're taking the big piece, aren't you? Yes, thank you. Okay, ready? That's good. A little more vinegar to it than the barbecue. You want more or it has more? It has a little bit more flavoring, but I want a lot more flavor. I, I wish it had more flavor. Mm -hmm. I wish it. Barbecue is my favorite. Yeah. I think barbecue was the most flavorful. And we'll get into that in taste. Okay. Okay, you ready? Oh, you want to show them real quick how much comes in a bag? Yeah. Give me a paper towel over there. Okay. So we're going to just pour this right on here so you can kind of get an idea. So that's a bag. Can you see that? That's a bag. Minus two pieces. Minus two pieces. But we took the small pieces out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, I see more feathers. You see more feathers? Yeah, I do. the barbecue, you see a lot of feathers. Okay. What's up there? You wanna do five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Okay, we're gonna start off with the plain one. So the ingredients in this are chicken skins, salt, and soybean or canola oil. Wish okay. they were picking a different oil. Yeah, I wish they were frying them in their own oil, mm -hmm. you know, because chicken skin is loaded with. If you ever try Greasy. making it on your own, you can just put them like on a tray in uh, your toaster oven or something like that, and you'll see the amount of oil that comes off of that chicken skin. You go from this giant chicken skin to a little tiny thing, mm -hmm. and just like a whole like pot of oil. Um, the ingredients aren't bad. Again, like I'm with you. I wish it wasn't soybean or canola oil. That's, that's kind of a personal preference for me. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm out looking for pork rinds, I usually try to want, get the ones that just say pork skins. Yeah. Not, you know, if it does, if does, if it just says pork skins, it's usually fried in its own oil. Mm -hmm. um, so. But not terrible. Not terrible. Let's look at the other ones. This is salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar, chicken skins, salt, vinegar. Oh, vinegar powder. Okay. The vinegar powder is made with maltodextrin, white distilled vinegar, modified cornstarch. Then you have maltodextrin, citric acid, malic acid, and sodium citrate added to prevent caking, and then soybean oil or canola oil. So this is what we see in a lot of pork rinds too. The seasoning usually has some maltodextrin yeah, in it. Yeah, most of the time, plain pork rinds are good. The hot ones, which are the ones that I like. The ones that I love. Usually have maltodextrin and stuff. And it comes down to, like, are you okay with that? You know, it's once in a blue moon, I'll still eat them. If we're on a trip, if I'm out on the road and I'm like, hey, I haven't had anything. But I also know what I'm taking in. I know that I am taking in a little bit of a sugar because maltodextrin is a sugar. Yeah, it's funny. I could eat hot and spicy pork rinds with the maltodextrin in it every single day. Mm -hmm. I could use the original just plain ones every once in a while. So it's it, kind of funny. Kind of funny. It goes You'll back crave it. To, it goes back to your body has a shut off for natural foods, but not for carbohydrates. And yeah, I love pork rinds, but I struggle to eat a whole bag of the plain ones. But if they have seasoning but on when it, when I start adding seasoning, you can eat the whole I bag. I can keep going and keep going and keep going and easily. Keep going. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, last one. Um, ingredients. This is the barbecue: chicken skin, salt, maltodextrin, onion and garlic powder, spices, tomato powder, yeast extract, 
citric acid, natural hickory smoke flavor, uh, extractives of paprika, natural flavors, and silicon dioxide to prevent caking, and then soybean and canola oil. Okay. So I hate to tell you this, but in order of best ingredients to worst ingredients, obviously plain, just like pork rinds, best ingredients. Yep. Except for the fact that it's fried in canola oil. Barbecue is the second best. I, which is kind of funny. And then salt and vinegar. Sad. Because the vinegar, this has got maltodextrin in Double the seasoning dose. and then also in there to get it probably to stay on there and to thicken up. This has only got one dose of maltodextrin. Yeah. So, okay. Number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Um, I'm going to hope since it's pork rind, or okay, not pork rind, so, but chicken skin. So you got, the plain is 180 calories. The other ones are 190 calories. They're all 14 grams of fat. You want to hold that one? Mm-hmm. They're all 13 grams of protein. Yep. Zero total carbohydrates, one total carbohydrate. One total carbohydrate. So again, just like pork rinds that are flavored, usually zero in the ones that uh, are plain, mm -hmm. one carb in here. So it's not a lot of maltodextrin. It's in the seasoning. Yeah. But it's giving you a carbohydrate. At least though, we didn't look, we didn't mention that for this, the whole bag is a serving. Yes. Well, of course it's a serving for Rachel, whether they say that or not. But again, so so if you're going to have this with the maltodextrin in it, um, you're looking at, you're going to have one. It, let's say that they're off by 20%. Let's say one and a half. Let's even go off the limb because I'm always like the person that says I'd rather say that I'm having more than I actually am. Yeah, better safe than sorry. And say that you have two total carbohydrates in this. Mm -hmm. I'm eating two total carbohydrates unless I eat more than one bag. Yeah. But if I only have one bag, I'll usually only eat one bag. Yeah. Um, if you open up a bag of pork rinds that has maltodextrin, like the hot and spicy, there's usually three to five to seven servings in there. And if there's one carbohydrate per serving, now I'm eating seven carbohydrates. Because you know me so well, there's one serving in that bag too. Right. So it's just something to consider. At least you know if you are having this, you're having one serving of carbohydrates. You are having some maltodextrin, but at least you're limited with the little bag. Yeah. Unless you can be like we used to and say, you know what? I'll eat three bags at once. Number three, how do they taste? They taste really good. <clears throat> uh, um... I honestly don't get that much punch out of the seasonings. No. And to save myself the maltodextrin, I gotta be honest, I'm probably just going to purchase the original and then add seasonings that I have at home that I feel really good about. I was going to say the same thing. I was gonna say, you know what? These, they have a little bit of flavor. Yeah. But not a super amount. No. So I think I would, I'm the same way. I would rather just buy the plain ones. Because they're tasty. Deal with the soybean oil as a treat to myself once in a while. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, add a little bit more salt onto it for myself. Which Absolutely. is probably really all I really need. Just grab some Redmonds, dump a bunch of Redmonds in there. But there's different, you know, like Fresh Jacks yeah. has all kinds of things. I mean, you could have Thai flavor or, I mean, lemon pepper, all kinds of stuff. Just yeah. You know, ones I feel better about the the flavorings. But taste wise, I really like. Do you like them better than pork rinds? Let's not get crazy here. Um, I see. I do. I, I'm going to say I like the taste of this better than pork pork rinds, especially plain ones. Yep. Not only do they smell gamey, they taste gamey. They Whereas do something to my throat too. Don't. These do not taste gamey. They smell gamey. But they don't taste gamey. I like them more than pork rinds, but they're on the same level with cracklins, right? Because they have that nice, greasy yeah. flavor to them and some little chunks and of fat. If you look on here, uh oh, dropped it. If you look on here, there's little chunks of fat within that skin. And that's something magical that Cracklins has yeah. that, that I love. Yep. So, yeah, no, I would totally want these. Yep. And I have requested Joe to make them often, but they're a pain in the butt. Yeah. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay. Are you pulling out the chicken and we're making them ourselves now, or are we going to buy some of these? Okay, you can get them directly on their website, which we are not affiliated with this company at all. No. I simply messaged them and said, hey, can you send us some for a review? Because I think it's a great product for the keto it community. It is awesome. Um, there's a link down below. Mm -hmm. uh, for that, On that link, it goes right to their website. I'm looking on the website. 
It is $24 for an eight pack. So it's $3 a bag. And then they have a deal on here. It says buy three and they'll ship for free. So I'm assuming like three boxes of eight. Yeah. You get free shipping. Um, there's also, I constantly see, all you can, here's all you have to do. Go on your computer or on your phone and Google flock, like flock chicken chips. Now then, you're done. Then go open up Facebook. You're and inundated. You're going to get a couple of ads showing up in Facebook. And I keep seeing ads on Facebook. I don't remember what the code was. If I can find it, I will put it down in the description. But it was like 15% off of your first order. Yeah. So just like to try if them. I can find that, I'm sure it'll show up in my Facebook feed because my phone is sitting right there and we're saying flock foods. <laughs> it'll be there later today. So if I can find it, I will put it down below. So yeah, $24. So what do you think? $3 a bag. I think that it's a nice treat. You know what I was thinking while I saw them open was, wouldn't this be nice to have some like chili down in or taco and have one of those like street tacos oh, in the yeah. bag that like you're used to having with, you know, you used to put Fritos, use Fritos and then put the, you know, your chili or your taco stuff down inside of this bag and be able to walk around. I think this would be a really fun meal at work. I'm thinking how awesome it would be on top of a salad. Oh my goodness, yes, because it would add greasy deliciousness and, and crunch. Some crunch. So yeah. Number five, would we recommend this? I would absolutely recommend this, but like I said before, I would stick with the original and then add your own seasonings because again, the seasoning is not like a power punch. Yeah. It doesn't like hit you in the face. And I would rather just add my own seasonings and avoid the multidextrin. I would absolutely recommend it. But saying in my recommendation, just be aware that you are dealing with some inflammatory oils in soybean oil. I'd love to see them switch over to cooking them in their own fat mm -hmm. um, or even an avocado oil or lard or tallow or something Literally like that. anything else. Anything other than any kind of seed oil. Um, and then again, I'm with Rachel. I would probably recommend them saying stick to the unflavored ones because the other ones have a little bit of flavoring but not enough to be willing to give myself the malted extra yeah so, same so well that's our video for today let us know down in the comments section if you have ever tried flock chicken chips i love this idea i and love seeing something like this come to market oh yeah because we've seen some wannabe chicken chips and they're usually loaded with flowers and everything yeah else. that they're just totally like a just a big bologna sandwich, not yeah. not really being truthful about it. This is actual chicken skins, yeah. actual chicken chips. Yeah. So please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.